Yesterday, President Trump said by making the intellectual case for Christianity, Ravi Zacharias was instrumental in helping millions of people around the world come to know the love and mercy of Jesus Christ. And so on behalf of the first family, our family, and a grateful nation, Karen and I offer our deepest sympathies to your family. And you all, like us, had the privilege to know and cherish this good man, this godly man, this man for all seasons. Ravi Zacharias' story has been an inspiration to millions of people. On a bed of suicide at 17, void of meaning, emptied of hope, he opened a Bible. And he read the words that are now displayed on the wall outside this church. Because I live, you shall live also. And lying on that hospital bed, he opened his heart and his life to Jesus Christ, vowed to leave no stone unturned in his pursuit of the truth. And that he surely did. In the late Reverend Billy Graham, it's been observed that God gave us the greatest evangelist of the 20th century. In Ravi Zacharias, God gave us the greatest Christian apologist of this century. The great Christian apologist Ravi Zacharias had been lying for 35 years about his credentials, pretending to hold academic doctorates and referring to himself as a Cambridge-educated professor at Oxford. Now I'm a professor at Oxford. His evangelical Christian publishers and business colleagues knew about his deceptions, but Mr. Zacharias generated over $40 million a year in donations alone and was too big to fail. So they turned the other way and continued showering him with awards, speaking engagements, and book contracts. But then something happened, and this time it was different. This time it was about sex. In the summer of 2017, Mr. Zacharias landed himself in federal litigation with a married woman with whom he'd been having an online relationship. When this young woman told him that she would confess the affair to her husband, the evangelist committed the blunder that will bring his empire down. He threatened suicide, and he did it in writing. I notified Mr. Zacharias that I had acquired a copy of his suicide note, and the next morning I received this anonymous threat. They are coming for you. The Ravi Zacharias story is ugly, and there are good reasons powerful people have kept it a secret for decades. But this new development threatened to blow their cover, and when it did, it would expose not just another corrupt, smiling preacher, but religious cynicism and unbelief in the highest echelons of the evangelical business world. This book blows that cover. Based on three years of research by attorney Steve Boffman, that's me, and meticulously documented with communications from Cambridge and Oxford, Zacharias' own press releases, excerpts from the federal lawsuit, and more, Cover Up in the Kingdom presents all who care about integrity and Christian apologetics with evidence that demands a verdict. Not available at your local Christian bookstore.